I practice passion over pussy self-discipline Used to front for some pussy better minutes since I spent an hour plus crafting up responses Now it's no remorse with it I'ma send a K to a long text like hey everyone, this is Mike, welcome back to another video And I'm already out of breath because I'm on a very serious uphill So today's video will be will be challenging but yeah speaking about challenges today I'm doing the no drone no problem challenge which was set to me by Insta360 and Insta360 is kindly sponsoring today's video so it should be an interesting one So the idea behind this challenge is that since we have so many no-fly zones and so many strict rules and regulations regarding flying a drone, it's becoming more and more difficult to take our drones with us when we go to those really cool epic destinations. So a good way to go around this problem is to use a 360 camera with this really, really uh, long pole. And this is the key here because this is the three meter pole from Insta360, which extends really really far away it's crazy how long it is and with this you can take the camera so far away from you and it kind of looks like something that has been shot on a drone it's really cool and that's the idea behind this challenge trying out something new trying out a different perspective and the cool thing is that insta360 is actually hosting a challenge that you guys can also participate in if you have a 360 camera like this one it doesn't have to be the x3 it can be any other insta360 uh, 360 camera you can take part into their no drone no problem challenge all you need to do is take a shot with your 360 camera try to get a fake drone shot with it uh, upload it on instagram or tiktok with the hashtag no drone no problem and you can win 500 dollars every single week it's a cool new perspective new way to use your gear try it out see what you can do with something new and it's always fun to try a new challenge So as you guys know, I'm a big fan of 360 video and I've been using this type of cameras for quite a while now. So when Insta360 asked me to do this challenge, I was really excited because I love this X3 camera and that's the camera I used for the video. Uh, and I've been using it for just over a month now and I want to quickly share some of my impressions of this camera. Um, some of the things I like and some of the things that I don't really like, uh, which are not that many by the way. First, the sensor size of this camera is half an inch and it shoots 5.7K in 30 frames per second. I've been really enjoying the video quality coming from this camera. And although some people say that 360 cameras are a gimmick and the video quality from them is subpar, you can really get away with some really nice creative shots as long as the light around you is sufficient. If you're shooting in a bright sunny day, you will get good results even when you're shooting in auto. And this camera is really good to quickly adapt to the lighting conditions. You have some different color profiles that you can use. I mostly shoot on the vivid color profile. That's the profile that Insta360 suggests you to use because you don't really need to tweak it that much later it is vivid it is saturated and just the colors are popping uh, out of the screen they look great and as long as you keep the lenses clean which is one of the most important things about these cameras as long as you don't get them scratched or you keep them clean 
you will have good results. Now, speaking about scratching the lenses, I'm guilty because I already have a little ding on my lens, on one of the lenses, because this thing is just so long, so sometimes it just tends to, to flop around, and when it's extended to the maximum length, which is three meters, it is a little bit more complicated to keep the camera steady. Uh, and in one of my shots where I was setting it up to be um, between me and my backpack like this on, on my back, as I was taking the camera back to me after filming the shot, I didn't calculate how much the camera sticks out and how much it protrudes uh, further away from, from the stick itself. And I just bumped it into the ground. So I have a little ding on one of the lenses, which is not too bad because you, you don't really see it. But uh, with 360 cameras, it's important to keep those lenses as clean and as healthy as possible without any scratches or any dents or anything like that. Because if you don't, you will see a little smudge on your screen, uh, on your final footage or something that looks like a scratch. So uh, you really need to take care of those lenses. So yeah, just throwing it out there, make sure you protect the lenses of this camera and make sure you always carry it in this protective pouch because it's going to save you. Now that's how pretty much I always carry this camera on this three meter extended selfie stick. I tend to use this a lot more than the included selfie stick, which is a lot uh, less extendable. Now this just makes uh, a whole lot of sense to be used when you are looking for those fake drone shots because it's just that long. One thing I don't like about this is this uh, yellow ring that you have on the selfie stick itself. It's just, I, I, I don't see the reason why it's there because sometimes you can see it in the shot. If it was black, maybe it would have been uh, less noticeable and would have been invisible as well. But this sometimes, especially when you carry it like this, it will be visible coming out of your hand and then there is nothing because the selfie stick itself gets uh, completely eliminated from the screen, from the image, but this yellow ring stays. Other than that, this extended selfie stick is amazing. I highly recommend you to get one if you're looking for those fake drone shots. One feature I tend to use a lot when using this camera is from Insta360 Studio, their desktop application, and it's called Deep Track. Deep Track will make sure that you're always in the middle of the screen and it will keep you tracked where wherever you go. So even if you rotate the stick and you do something, you will be in the middle. It's like active track on drones. So it's a good feature to have if you want to stay in the middle of the shot. You can also use Me Mode, which kind of does the same thing automatically without having to reframe anything in post. You can use Me Mode from the camera itself, but sometimes you don't want to be centered all the time. Sometimes you just want to be tracked for a while and then you want to focus on something else. That's where you can use Deep Track from Insta360 Studio, which is a really nice feature and I'll demonstrate it to you in just a second. Something that I would love to see improved on this camera is the microphone quality. And even though we've seen it becoming better and better with previous iterations of the camera, it's still not perfect. And in situations where you don't have that much wind around you while using the wind reduction feature, you can still get some very decent audio coming from this camera without attaching any external microphones or anything like that. Hey everyone, this is Mike. Welcome back to another video. And I'm already out of breath because I'm on a very serious uphill. As soon as you go to a place where it's a little bit more windy, it becomes almost impossible to shoot some nice audio with this camera. You don't really want to uh, reframe the shot afterwards in post. And this will really save you some time. Uh, it's really not that usable in windy conditions if you want to vlog with it. So I really hope the, the software side of, of the camera becomes better to, to remove that wind noise um, automatically. I don't know, I really hope to see some improvements in that area because this camera deserves to be used more for vlogging, for example, it's that easy. So I would love to use it more in case I can have better audio from it. Overall, I really dig the X3 camera. I think it's one of the best portable cameras that you can buy right now, not only because it shoots 360 video, but because you can also use it as an action camera by just using one of the lenses. And you have all the freedom to decide where you want to mount it, how you want to shoot with it, and just adapt it to your needs, which makes it a really good choice if you're looking for one camera that can do it all. Luckily with this camera and 360 cameras in general, the least you need to worry about is your framing because you can always reframe your shot. You only need to worry about 
putting the camera in the general direction where you want it to film because you can always reframe your shot afterwards and if you want to maybe you can put yourself in the middle of the shot like so or if you prefer you can just twist it around and put something else in the shot it's really up to you and of course you have a lot of freedom to uh, to choose different types of looks, maybe tiny planet, maybe something a little bit more zoomed in. It's really up to you to decide the perspective and the angle. And that's something that I definitely really enjoy about 360 video in general. So here I want to show you a little example because um, putting keyframes is really easy. And of course, there are tons of tutorials out there that are going to teach you how to do that in case you're not aware. But for example, there is this video where I'm going down the stairs, which were quite a lot. Um, but for this, uh, it is nice to have this option, which we have here in Insta360 Studio, which is called uh, Deep Track. Because by putting keyframes, you will need a ton of keyframes to always be in the middle of the shot. But here, from this software, you can, for example, start uh, the clip from here. Uh, maybe you can start from, from this angle if you want to, but let's just keep it simple. And I'm going to start deep tracking myself and we make a little selection. Center the target. We can click on that and we can start tracking. So this will make sure that we'll be always in the middle of the shot and we will be tracked during the whole portion of this clip. And of course, this will take some time because the stairs were quite a few. But of course, going down the stairs is a lot easier than going up the stairs, which was quite exhausting. Of course, if we want, we can add this time shift feature, which is going to speed up the whole portion of the video. So it's not as long, but I prefer to do that in Final Cut, to be honest, um, to add some motion blur and to speed ramp the video uh, because I have a little bit more smoothness there and I'm just a bit more familiar with the software so let's just keep it like this we can export now um, and we, if we play it actually let's just play it so you can see that I will be in the middle of the shot at all times uh, the tracking works really really well and yeah I just really like how easy it is to be in the middle of the shot now we can start exporting uh, the video and we want to make sure that we are on reframed video. Uh, Bitrate has to be on the maximum because we just want the maximum quality, of course. And of course, if you really want the maximum quality, you can export in ProRes, which is going to be a little bit more, you know, challenging for your computer and maybe a little bit a lot bigger in terms of file size, but it's worth it if you're looking for the best quality possible. If not, you can just uh, export in H.264 or 265, it's up to you, and then you can start exporting. And now, here is the finished shot with some speed ramping, motion blur, and synced to the beat of the music. Special shout out to Insta360 for sponsoring today's video and challenging me with this idea. I really enjoyed it and I've been flying drones for more than six years now. So flying on, on a place like this is kind of the norm for me. Uh, so of course, putting a different type of tool in my hands is always going to be interesting and challenging. So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and the type of different content for this video. Let me know if you did in the comment section below and don't forget to drop a like, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. This is Michael Drone Supremacy. Take care everyone and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.